Hey everybody, it's Charlie. So we got a little new trailer that they just dropped and an official costume reveal for Barry for that new season five costume. Remember, there was all that stuff happening a couple days ago with the supposed leak. He was saying that that wasn't the finalized version. Now we actually know what it's gonna look like on screen. They released this nice shiny image. I'll also talk about the new version of the reverse flash costume because we're getting a new version of reverse flash and a new costume to go with that to boot. And they confirmed another new character that's debuting during episode four. So I'll explain the differences in the costume and what that means for them going forward and what this new character is gonna be doing. So if you're brand new to the channel, there's a new round of that flash ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on the video. I'll name a new winner at the end of this. Biggest thing about this is that it seems like it's chinless, but like when you zoom in on the picture, you can see a little bit of material on the bottom of his chin. So what they may have done is just slim down the chin strap a little bit. So it still exists. It's just imperceptible the way he's facing the frame like this. Like it'll be a little more evident when he turns his head to the side. So in the next couple of weeks, they'll probably release more pictures as they start to drop more trailers. Like they dropped that promo that I put at the beginning of this video. There'll be more of that in the next couple of weeks. Right now, they're only getting ready to film episode four, which is why they announced the new character because she's gonna debut during episode four. But the other big thing about this suit is that you see where the lines are. They got rid of some of the really obvious ones, so they wanna make it seem more like a one piece, even though it's gonna be inside the flash ring. So like, that's the cool thing too. Even though we still have the dummy, I think they're gonna find a way to balance between flash ring in the traditional style where he just puts it on the dummy and then takes it off when he wants to put it on and go help somebody because it is really expensive to do that special effect. Like that's why you saw it at the end of season one when the reverse flash was pulling it out of the flash ring and then they never did it again. So usually they only do Barry putting the costume on in frame at super speed once or twice during the season at the beginning. Then anytime you see him in it later or he needs to put it on, what they'll do is, is he'll say, okay, we need to go help somebody. Then it'll just cut to a shot of him running outside. They've almost gotten rid of all the leather, but the cowl is still leather. The cloth shoulders and back look like it's a little more breathable. So that might be a practical thing for Grant Gustin when he's just walking around in the suit. But you also have to imagine that it's much easier to compress and put inside the flash ring. Even though the technology is a little bit crazy the way they explain that. It's miniaturization. Way back during season two when they got the flash ring off the reverse flash, Harrison Wells from Earth 2 teased that he was going to tinker with it and then we just never heard about it again. I can't believe something good finally came from that suit. First and the last time. I think still gives me the creeps. We should destroy it. Let's do that, but see if you can figure out how to get it back in this ring first. Might be nice to have something like that instead of carrying around a bag all the time. I can help you with that. What? I don't think I do about microtechnology. Actually, I have a backup. Total fan favorite. One of the things I think they were talking about, if you notice here, is that the earpieces stick out from his ears like they do in the comics. In all the versions from season one to season four, they all hugged his head. So they're not like full-blown Mark Wade earpieces where they stick way out of his ears. Like that would be a little bit crazy, but they're just getting a little bit closer to that. So I wouldn't be surprised when we see Reverse Flash show up again if his costume is also tuned a little bit to be more like that. I talked a little bit more about the evolution of the Flash suit in my last video that I posted earlier this week, but we still don't know exactly what they're going to be doing with Reverse Flash, only that he'll come back, he'll be a different face. The funny thing about the Reverse Flash's costume on the Flash TV show is, is that when Matt Letcher came on and it was doing more of his season two character, he still wore Tom Cavanaugh's yellow suit. It wasn't until he did the Legion of Doom arc on Legends of Tomorrow season three that they built him his own custom suit, but it wasn't that much different from Tom Cavanaugh's version of the suit. Since Reverse Flash is a big Flash fanboy, don't be surprised if his new costume, whenever the new actor appears, looks a little bit like Barry's costume right now. If you don't remember the story of why Reverse Flash made a yellow version of the costume, they actually changed that during Rebirth. Now the new story is, is that he was so in love with the idea of becoming Barry's new sidekick, he wanted to replace Wally West. When Wally West was old enough to join Teen Titans and go off and become his own character, Reverse Flash had the crazy idea that he would become Barry's new sidekick, that he made his costume look like a version of Barry's and yellow like Wally's. You have to remember that current Eobard Dawn as of Rebirth is more written as a toxic fanboy, but I, I do like the new spin on his backstory. Hopefully we'll get a version of that during season five at some point, but it depends on how old the actor is that they recast for Reverse Flash. 
I know everybody's been wondering what Nora's secrets are, if she's potentially lying and misleading us about who she really is. I don't think there's a whole lot there aside from what she's not telling Barry about the bad things that she did to cause more problems, the mistakes that she made. But because she is a Flash fangirl, the way Jessica Parker Kennedy, the actress, explains her character is that she's a real daddy's girl. But the cool thing now is that sort of sets you up to do a fanboy version of the Reverse Flash, the much younger version before he came up with the idea to track Barry down and then eventually kill his mother. So up to this point, all the versions of the Reverse Flash we've seen, all two of them, not counting the alternate universe versions, are the ones right at the end of his timeline where he finally comes up with this grand plan to finally get rid of Barry Allen. But there was this whole life that he had before that. So that's really where I think the future of Reverse Flash stories are on the Flash TV show. Do the younger version of Eobard Thawne, which gives you the opportunity for a costume retro redesign to make it look more like Barry's. So that's why, you know, he made it look like Barry's but yellow because he wanted to be his psychic. That's why all this Nora fangirl Flash stuff that they're setting up at the beginning of season five is really important. So that down the road, you can introduce Reverse Flash, a character that we've seen a whole bunch, but in a brand new fresh way so that it doesn't feel like you're telling the exact same story. The new character they're introducing in episode 4 is called Spin and they're probably going to be a combination of a couple comic book characters because in the comics Spin was a character that owned a global media empire but used another meta's powers to control the people and make their worst fears come true. The way the TV show describes the character makes it sound like she'll be using social media to do that same thing. So she'll be making people's worst fears come true. So because it's social media, it also sounds like it's going to be a villain for Iris as well. Not sure how many times she's going to be coming back after episode four, but they did say that they were introducing younger versions of the rogues. So I don't know if that includes them doing, say, like renegades because Nora's from the future. Maybe people chase her down from the future or it'll be a completely new team with new characters and it'll just be younger people. So we'll find out more about that when we get a little bit closer to the season. So everybody post your reactions in the comments below. Like I said, we'll get a better idea for what it looks like when he turns his head to the side or when they release a promo. I don't think we're actually going to see any real footage of this costume in action until they start promoting episode two. So that'll be in October. Like all the footage we see from now until episode one will be mostly episode one stuff. I don't think he's actually getting the costume till episode two, maybe episode three. Like I think the whole thing with him wearing that season one costume is only for the first episode. There was a whole bunch of other stuff that dropped recently. If I have enough time tonight, I'll post more, but more coming Saturday for sure. So congratulations to the latest giveaway winner from my last big video, Logan Rodriguez. Please email me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. Click here to rewatch the season five trailer and click here to learn about what Disney's gonna be doing with Fantastic Four and X-Men inside Marvel Phase Four. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.